All right, welcome back to Shadow of the Colossus. No fancy cutscene like last time, just business as usual. Kill the Colossus, statue breaks. So, yep. See, now it may not seem like there is a lot of story going on in this game, but once you beat the game, and know like the ending and everything like that there's actually surprisingly a lot more story in the game than you'd think and I guess I'll talk about that during the credits in another like seven videos so this is the only Colossus in the game that I don't like like, I just do not like fighting him. Every game has that that one section that I don't like, and this is that. And, uh, we'll see why this Colossus isn't very fun when we get to him. Let's just see where he's at. Back that way, okay then. We were just over there, might as well go back. Agro. 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 Hello. Agro. Do we have to do this every time? That happens every time too. Every video has like the same formula. Wake up in the the worship shrine. Wait for Agro. Go to the location of the Colossus, kill the Colossus, end of video. You're not gonna believe the ending of this video though. We're gonna do something really different. No we're not, we're gonna just kill another Colossus. See for me this is like the perfect adventure game. When I think of adventure games I think of this. Just because... I don't know, you're on an adventure. I don't know if I talked about this yet or not, but... Oh well, if I did. I think this game would have been a little bit better if you didn't have the... Well, if you had the sword that you have right now, but it doesn't tell you where to go. Like, I think that would be just better, honestly. Because I'm a... Like, it would be cool if just there were just random Colossus encounters. Like, you're just kind of going around, maybe looking for save shrines, you know. You just killed a yellow-tailed ta lizard, and then all of a sudden, oh my god, you turn around, there's a Colossus. That would be so cool. But then again, this game isn't really designed around, you know, being able to just go wherever you want and just randomly find a Colossus. You pretty much need to know where you're going, or else you're going to be lost for a while. Which is why I guess they... Put in the sword, but I, th I feel like they could have designed designed it differently to have uh, random Colossus encounters. This game is actually supposed to be co-op at first. Like, there's a little bit of gameplay that they showed. Well, it wasn't gameplay; it was just kind of a trailer that showed. Uh, like, I think it was like four people taking down a Colossus, and it was really cool. I, I would have loved to have seen this game in co-op, but. It kind of would have ruined the uh, atmosphere that, that this game sets up that I really like, which is the kind of feeling of desolation and aloneness. But yeah. I do like the game as it is, but there are a few things that I would have done, but I'm no game designer, so, you know. Speaking of games... Uh, Team Eco announced like a couple years ago their new game, which is The Last Guardian. We haven't seen gameplay or anything of that in like forever. And I would really love for that game to come out soon. They said they're waiting for the, ra the, like, the right time to reintroduce it. I have a feeling it'll be shown at E3 this year just because of PlayStation 4 and everything. And uh, let's just take a little bath here. I feel like Wander probably hasn't bathed in quite a while. 
But anyway, yeah, Last Guardian. Looks pretty cool, looks kind of like a uh, combination of both games that Team Eco has made with Eco in this game. So yeah. Kind of excited for it. Seriously, these white tail lizards are taking so much longer than the Colossi. They're more difficult than the Colossi to kill. Because they're nimble. Let's see which way are we going here? That way, straight ahead. See, I wish the world like the world that this game takes place in was a little more populated. Like, I don't get how people lived in this land before it was sealed off, before the events of this game. There's nothing here. There's the, the, the Shrine of Worship, there's some save shrines, and just nothing. There's just mountainous regions, and grassy plains, and water, and it's just really boring. Like, in the game it works fine, and I like it. It's probably one of my favorite, like, I guess hub areas. But, like, if I was living in this world, there's nothing to do. Literally just nothing. I haven't seen a single other building. Uh, I might as well go get that save shrine because it's on our way. If it was the other way, I would have totally just passed it up. Aha! Sneak attack! Gotcha! Where's your damn tail? There you go. Alright, now that I got that out of the way, we can actually go ahead and fight the Colossus, who's pretty much just through this cave here. The reason, well, I guess I'll get to it when we actually see him, because I really, really hate this Colossus. Come on, Aggro. Oh, you're going to be like this, aren't you, Aggro? This is going to make this even worse. Let's see. Might as well head into the uh, sunlight. The sunlight! Oops. It seems we've just triggered a Colossus fight. The worst Colossus. Oh my god, Agro, are you seeing this? It's a giant worm. They're sinking cities with a giant worm. No, it's a it's a sand snake, I guess. I don't know. The reason this boss sucks balls is because you have to ride Agro. You have to use your uh, bow and arrow. You kind of have to lead it away from you. Oh, come on, Agro, go. It will, its head will kind of appear above the sand, and what you have to do is aim behind you for, okay, that was weird, for his eye, hopefully I can hit it here, did I hit it? I think I did, oh no I didn't, yeah, look at how much damage that just did, that was ridiculous, oh, Agro's all tired and sad, but yeah, this is why I hate this boss. You have to pretty much just run away from him on aggro, aim your bow at his eye, and shoot one of his eyes. And that's the part of this that I really don't like. Because aggro control is really weird sometimes, as I've shown like the entire game so far. And aiming your bow and having aggro just kind of move forward on his own is really annoying. Did I hit it? There we go. Move out of the way, because you don't want it crashing into you. So yeah, it's just going to hit a wall like that. And then the music changes to more upbeat, kind of heroic thing. Showing you that you've done something right, as usual. You don't want to take too long for here, either. I probably shouldn't have gone off aggro as quickly as I did. But yeah, this one has two sigils. You should be able to get one sigil per round, because you can't do it. You can't get two of them at the same time, I'm fairly certain. 
that it's impossible to do this in one go. Because the uh, snake will just go right back underground. And you gotta rinse and repeat. Yeah. Nothing new here. Yeah. And this is actually going better than I thought it would. I, I figured I'd have to uh, fight with aggro and all that kind of bad stuff. Just trying to get aggro like out of the way here. We're going into a wall right now. See if I care. Ooh, avoid that please. Because we still aren't back to 100% health. Alright, now I could probably aim. You wanna do something there? Little sandworm? Ah, they're sinking cities with a giant worm. Alright, come on. And again, the music changes. It's a good thing it shows you that cutscene, though. And now the, the other sigil is kind of right over by where that anchor-looking thing is coming out of his head. It's just above that. Come on, keep going. And we should be able to finish him off here. Come on, Wander. Stop fidgeting. He won't put up that, that much of a fight, so... He's definitely... Once you're on him, he's one of the easiest, but getting on him is hard. And that's why I don't like this fight. And that went so much better than I ever thought it would. So yeah, yay for me. I'm the best. I'm the coolest.